What's up, YouTube? We're back in the still standing garage. I'm gonna finish off sanding that and this, so the door, the fender, and the whole bottom with 180 grit to finish prepping the car for primer. I already did the rest of it. Everything's already done. If you haven't seen the other video, the video before this, so I'm gonna start sanding it right now. We're gonna start masking it off and getting it ready for primer, and hopefully we shoot it by the end of this video, and we're gonna be moving along. Let's go. Alright, so everything's already at 180 grit. We're done already, or I'm done already. And again, to get the bottom of that was pretty hard. Uh, I mentioned that in the last video, and I got a comment back on the last video with a suggestion, which was pretty much a link to another video to show how to lift the car up off the ground and put it on pretty much cribbing, creating some cribbing to get the car uh, off the ground about a foot. Thank you for suggesting that really appreciate that this is what this is about this is what i like about this is that people are helping out and suggesting good ideas you know so that way i could get this car off off the ground obviously right now i just finished off you know this side with it being on the floor i didn't have time to create those uh crates you know it's getting closer to winter so i got to get this car painted so what i'm gonna end up doing is i'm gonna use this red scotch bright to hit all the edges like all these areas here Throughout the whole car, you know, like inside of here. Because I don't want to sand that with 180 because I know I'll probably go down to metal with this. If I go long enough, I'll probably go down to metal. But I just want to scuff it to where when I spray that primer, it sticks on and it's not flaking off later on. So I'm going to do that to everything uh, right now. And then we're going to be ready for masking. I'm going to have to blow this off and make sure it's nice and clean. And then start masking and then we're ready for primer. Alright, so now that the majority of that uh, dust is already out, we're still going to clean it up some more later on, but it's time to start masking it off. So I forgot I had this uh, sheeting here, so I'm going to try to see if I could do it like the pros do it. You ever seen those guys when they start uh, masking off a car, they do it like in minutes. Obviously on video everything looks uh, uh, pretty clean or pretty fast when it's edited, but I'm going to try to use it and see if I could do that, you know, back tape like all these areas here all around and then start putting the, the the sheeting all the way over and then see if i could cut it with the blade and just leave the areas that are not going to get primered we're going to try that out right now and see how that turns out if not i'm just going to go back to my uh sheeting that i usually use which is the the blue um uh, paper here so this right here i have another roll of this too so i have a lot of that so we're going to try it out see how much easier it is to do that So I had maxed off the back side of this edge here and then I was planning on putting the paper and putting it or the sheeting over here because I'm not painting the or primary in the, the trunk lid. This isn't the trunk lid that's going to go on there. That one's already over there. That's the one that I'm going to replace this one with. 
So the reason I removed the tape from here was because I want to get that edge. So by me putting the tape there, I wouldn't be able to get that edge as good as I want. Uh, uh, as you can see, it's all it's all bare metal there. So the primer that I'm going to be putting on here, it is a high build primer, but it's a DTM, direct to metal. So I'm going to be applying that there. Uh, same thing on this side. So, I, so that's why I removed it. So I'm going to keep going on this side now. Keep it, keep it moving. It's kind of... Gotta, it's like a thought process because you got to figure out how you're going to tape it to see where the sheeting's going to go, what's going to get painted, what's not going to get painted. So it's a thought process as I'm doing. I'm kind of like, you know, thinking about it. So uh, let's keep it moving on the passenger side, get this whole side masked off, and then we'll start throwing on the, the sheeting and we'll see how that goes. Let's go. I made a mistake when I was laying out the paper. I thought it wasn't wide enough, but what ended up happening was that it was actually wide, in, wide enough, but I didn't see the last fold underneath, so I had to pull it out after, uh, and that kind of slowed me down, and everything started sticking over here. Like it started sticking, the tape right here started coming off, so I had to put it back on, so that kind of threw me off a bit. So I think this is like a two-person thing, that way you could get some help. Uh, and do it from both sides and actually spread it out to where it's not wrinkled like all this right here I still have to fix it, but um, it's good. I mean, I, I'm liking how I'm able to do like I already did this side obviously and um, I'm liking how I'm able to hit it with the blade and then put the tape on there and then how it's already covering everything up I could only imagine how much of that uh, Paper over there. I would have used to cover all this up, but you know, it's a good learning experience I think next time I'll, I'll do a lot better with it when I actually paint the car. So uh, let me keep going. Let's go. Right, so it's all masked off already it's ready to go I already blew it off too to see if any of that tape will come off i did run out of the good tape so i started using this uh 3m pretty much house tape like for when you're painting your the inside of your house so we'll see how it sticks because you know i used it on the bottom part of it so i think i should be all right but i thought i had a, a roll of the good tape the automotive tape but it is what it is um keep going so let's start cleaning it up with some some of this paint uh, prep, I'm gonna hit it right now, and then ready for primer, let's go.
Coats of the primer, the high build primer, laid it uh, with 26 psi. I started off with 28 psi, but I brought it down to 26 and it laid out really nice. I really like the way it came out, everything looks pretty good. Uh, I'm really liking how my body line came out right there, it was better than I expected. It looks good on camera, too, it looks real good. Uh, that tape that I used at the end wasn't all that great, but it I had to keep touching things back up before I continue spraying, but it, it worked out. Everything's good. It's still drying. You can see spots right there that look like a, like a dent, but it's still drying out. But it looks good. Really like it. As for the top, still working on that technique. Look at that big old line right there. So still working on that technique. Them tiger stripes. I tried using my step stool that I bought. So this step stool that I got from Harbor Freight, it's too high, it's too tall. And I wasn't able to get it as, as best as I could, or as good as I wanted. And this side is sprayed out pretty nice, but you still see some st tiger striping there. But there it is, it's all primed up, let it sit. So what I ended up doing is I ended up using this big cup to mix a big batch. So that way I could just come back and fill the cups back up. So this is how many cups I used. I ended up using four of them. I'm gonna let those dry out and then I could throw them away. I'm cleaning up the gun right now. But um, but yeah, but I used this big cup, mix it all up. Uh, I started using a little cup first and I decided to go ahead and use a bigger cup since that the primer has a two hour pot life after it's mixed. So, all right guys, we'll stay tuned for those next videos on this Monte. Hopefully we get to paint it. More primary, more sanding still sandy in the still standing garage but somebody's got to do the work and i'm doing it so it looks real easy when you're watching videos of somebody paint a car in 10 minutes but this is the process Whoa. 